Hey, what's up? Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about what is rapport and how does that apply to sales? How do you build it? What does it mean? Um, and all that kind of stuff. Now, before I begin, down below, there's a link in the description. If you click on there, uh, there's actually training on what I believe to be the most important part of selling a product or idea or service online. Okay? Um, and that is how to convert that attention into actually a sale of money, getting, putting money in your pocket. Now, lately, I've been reading this book called The Way of the Wolf uh, by Jordan Belfort. Do you know who that guy is? Yeah, you know, they made that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, if I'm right. But the pretty good movie. Uh, it's a good movie. Uh, there's a lot of F-bombs in there. Um, and the book is really, really good, too. It's a, He has a whole closing system. You know, say what you want about him, but he it was a good salesperson. Okay, the book is really, really good. And basically, I can't do It's hard for me to say basically. <laughs> I can't, there's a lot to the book, but there's two things to a sale. Um, there's logic and emotion. Now, emotion is a whole other topic. That's very important, but you also need a little bit of logic in there too. It helps a lot uh, because otherwise somebody's bullshit detector uh, might go off, okay? And with logic, there really needs to be three things. They have to be certain. They have, they have to feel certainty about you as a person, right? Uh, that's important. Two, the product, um, and also the company. They have to be certain about all three of those things. And... One, they have to be certain about you is very important. They have to tr someone trust you. And that's what building rapport comes into play. Uh, yeah. So what is rapport? Well, the master of rapport is Bill Clinton. You know, our old one of our old presidents, right? He was really, really good. He used to know people's names, remember them. He could feel your pain. He basically gave a shit about you, right? If someone doesn't give a shit about you, it's hard to buy from them. You're like, I don't like this person, man. I don't trust them. Nah, I ain't. Nah, I'm out. That's what a lot of people are going to feel right, right? And a while ago, I read about malpractice suits with doctors. And it turns out the biggest reason for malpractice suits, it wasn't because uh, the, the, the doctor was an idiot, okay? What it was, was there was some weird thing like the doctor was talking to a person and he had his hand on the door and he was ready to get the hell out of there. He, the person felt like he didn't give a shit about him, basically. Um, and that's a big cause of malpractice suits. So it's somewhat important in sales. You need rapport. In fact, he even says that you can't close a sale unless you have built up so much rapport. So how do you do that? Well, let me kind of tell you a story real quick. What Jordan mentioned in this book was he he was getting paid to do consulting, right? Uh, he got out of the stock market business after he went to jail. Well, he went to jail, then he went and started doing a lot of consulting, the teaching his whole closing system, which is, you know, there's a lot of value to it, there is. And he was walking around a salesperson, he overhears this conversation about duck hunting. Oh, you like duck hunting? No way. I love duck hunting. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The so the, the salesperson was talking about duck hunting for 15 minutes. And, and then the person does a buy. And the salesperson was like, shit, I was so close. We had this whole thing going about duck hunting. You know, we were like, ugh, we had a bond. And it turns out the salesperson never duck hunted. This complete bullshit. <laughs> he was from Sri Lanka, which is by India, and he had duck hunt. And, well, that's not how you build rapport. The way you build rapport you're supposed to according to jordan is once the freaking prospect starts talking about weird shit and taking you to the plant pluto you know like duck hunting you listen you go wow you say something like that's totally cool okay it's, it really sounds interesting and i could see why you feel that way now as far as blank 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 and then you kind of get right back to the system he has in the play you, you have to listen to it right you listen that's that's the important part. That's how you build rapport and you and you acknowledge how cool it is. Like you know, I, I understand why you're interested in duck hunting. It sounds like a lot of fun. Let me let me get back to this thing. And that's how you kind of make control because you need control of the sale, and uh, you build master rapport at the same time. Because you listened. And one of the key things to remember is that building rapport. It's well, it's not constant. It goes up and down throughout the sale depending on a, the following a uh, couple things uh, one of them what he talks about in the book Jordan is how the prospect 
thinks and feels about the last point you made, okay? And two, his belief is whether or not you're on the same page with him, okay, regarding that point. Those are a couple other things to keep in mind. If he feels positive about the last thing you said, uh, the level of rapport will increase. Uh, and if he feels negative about it, then the level of rapport will decrease. And you can't close a sale if you're out of rapport with him, okay? So if any moment you sense like, damn, I'm out of rapport with this guy person, right? You just feel off. Then you need to stop. You need to regroup and make a conscious effort to get back in rapport. You do that by using the Bill Clinton method, right? Uh, of I care. I really, really care. I really want to know. And I feel your pain. And I listen. You listen a lot. So you need to be, according to him, you need to be building rapport throughout the, entel, the entire sales process, okay? Well, uh, I hope you learned something or you liked this video. If you did, just please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, share it as well. Uh, if you are interested in uh, learning, if you're if you're into like selling a product or idea or service online, which is a great thing to do nowadays because the whole world is online and it's very important. Then the most important thing skill to learn, which I'm a big believer in, is learning how to convert. And it's much different in the online world than face to face or over the phone. There's a lot to it. It really is. And my quick story is, I've been in, in online, well, marketing for a while. I used to be in the health niche, but I didn't really know about the converting stuff. I, I, I tried with it, but I struggled with it, and I failed. I got a couple sales, but not much. I left so much money on the table. I lost a lot, okay? I was kind of stubborn. And there's a lot to it. There's upsells, there's downsells, there's, there's a whole psychology behind it. So... <sighs> There's always this learning curve, like any new thing in life you've learned, especially with sales. And the way to short that le learning curve is to learn from the best. And if I had to do it all back again, I would learn this skill set of how to convert that attention into money and then work backwards. Then you could figure out the product that you, you like and you, then you could figure out a lot more stuff like traffic and stuff, which is a whole other topic as it is. But learning how to convert is key. Okay, and if you click that link below, it's very good training and education. Um, it's really, really good. So I, I can't recommend it enough. Um, and I feel very passionate about it. And I feel great recommending it. I would feel like a dick if I didn't recommend it. Okay, so click on it. Check it out. Um, take action. And uh, I wish you ha to have a great rest of your day. Okay, uh, bye for now.